So, and he started Emilio's, like the original Emilio's restaurant? Well, no, no, no. So it started off uh, Bellato's in 1956. So yeah. the original owner is uh, John Bellato. Okay. He started in 1956. Was he... Oh. Sorry, go ahead. No, 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 no. Was he what? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even want to say it. We made family? No, oh, no, no, no. Uh, no, we don't talk about that. No, no, no. no, 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 no. John, John. cut off your fucking fingers. <laughs> No, John John was yeah. just a, a guy who started this fucking place in 1956. But the beauty the beauty of this place was like back in 1956, uh John used to trade artwork for food. So the reason yeah. why this restaurant was so popular back in the day was he had people like George Kondo and Andy Warhol come in. No fucking so I mean shit. if you look at yeah, Jimi Hendrix is on the fucking on Ooh. the actual fucking menu. Yeah. So that's the and beauty. Andy, yes. Andy Warhol's on the menu as well, right? Yeah, yeah Andy's yeah. on the yeah. menu yeah. as well. Yeah. So um Andy originally painted the Bellatos wow. print. Wow. So that plexiglass that's... that you see in the front, maybe we'll punch into it fucking yeah. later, but it's in the dining room. Uh Andy fucking painted that. That's cool. Damn, yeah, wow. that's amazing. Yeah, yeah, I mean, so my father got it in uh, officially in 1991. I so say. you were born in what? 89. 87. 80, 87. So your father okay. purchased the restaurant after you were born, and yeah. then yeah. he named it. You're you're a junior, right? Yeah, I would like to. So I would like to think he named it after me, but I'm pretty <laughs> sure he named it after himself. And then and then what year did you? <laughs> Which I'm pretty out. sure he named it up for you, though, baby. And then, and then what, what year did, uh, did you purchase it? Well, no, so what it is is, like, I got offered to, you know, like, jump into the fucking business and, right. like, pretty much, like, buy it out. And this is, I was in the carpenters' union at the time, and this is, uh, fuck, this is 11, 12 years ago. Yeah. So my father came to me one day, and then he was just like, yo, listen, I have something important I got to fucking talk to you about. So I'm like, oh, shit. So I'm thinking <laughs> in my mind, because me and my father, were, like I said, we didn't get along. So I'm like, shit. I'm like, what's going on? I'm like, maybe this motherfucker's sick. Like, I got to stop talking. I got to start talking to this guy again. I don't know <laughs> what the fuck is going on. So I thought he was sick. He told me to come by the restaurant. So I come by the restaurant, and then he's just like, oh, you know what? I need somebody to take over the fucking place feel like, uh, you know, at the time, my youngest brother was, uh, he got a scholarship to Hofstra for football. Yeah. Um, my older brother, he was in sanitation. So nobody was in line to actually, like, legitimately take the fucking business. So he was like, I, I think you're the fucking guy. Like, let's sit down. Let's talk. So then I said, give me a little bit. I waited a couple of months. I thought about it. And then finally, I was just like, you know what? Let me fucking do it. So we weren't open for lunch at the time, so I would just come for dinner service, right? So my day would end at 218 when it came to the Carpenters Union. was in local 157. And then I would come by the restaurant, and then my father would have me fucking washing dishes downstairs. I'm like, yo, what the fuck, man? Yeah. I'm like, how the fuck can you tell me, like, now I'm taking over the fucking place, now you put me downstairs washing dishes. And he looks at me. He goes, you think you're too good to wash dishes? <laughs> no. And I said, what? yeah, I, think I, yes. think I am. And he goes, well, you're fucking not. He's like, Are you still, you still want to fucking do it? You still want to take it over or no? And I was like, all right, fine. I fucking sucked it up. Guess how much I was getting paid at that time? A Min week. Minimum wage. A week. No, Min guess how much? A week. 250 bucks? 300 dollars cash a shit. fucking week. And you're washing dishes. Working seven how, days how a fucking you? week. This is I was in my early twenties, bro. Damn, that's wild. New York City. But you know what ended up happening was so I went to washing dishes, making pasta, making uh -huh. pastries, making salads, is being the like head chef at the fucking <laughs> restaurant. And then what ended up happening was one night. One of the guys was fucked up and all the dishes were coming out fucking horrible. And I'm like, shit. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? I go in the back. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? And I see one of the guys in the back. He's completely obliterated. He's so fucked up. He had been, <laughs> I caught him. He was going downstairs and grabbing a little handle of fucking Georgie. <laughs> he had like a fucking small little handle of Georgie. He's pounded it in the fucking, the walk-in box. Yeah. So I told my father, I'm like, yo. This guy's fucked up. 
I was like, he's got to leave. All the dishes are coming out fucking bad. And then my father looked at me and he goes, well, you got to fire him. I said, fire him? I was like, you want me to fire him? So I tell the guy, oh, fuck, yeah, I'll fucking fire him. I fire him. I feel like the man. I'm like, yo, get the fuck out of here, you fucking truck. <laughs> I fire the fucking guy. <laughs> And Wait, then, what, that a test? and then I go to my father afterwards. I'm like, "Yo, who's gonna cook in the kitchen?" He goes, "Dickhead, I fucking taught you everything you need to know. Get your fucking chef coat on, get in the fucking back, and start fucking cooking in the kitchen." And then after wow. that happened, I was like, "Oh man, this fucking guy. He knew exactly what the fuck he was doing the whole entire fucking time." And afterwards, we had a conversation about it. And then he was just like, "Yo, now you're not a slave." To anybody in the fucking business You know how to cook You know how to clean You know how to make salads You know how to make pasta You know how to make fucking pastries You don't have to worry about nobody Anytime anybody fucking acts up You kick them the fuck out Because you're capable of doing their job The second you're not capable of doing their fucking job Then you're in fucking trouble Wow And I was like wow Then I had a, a new respect for him I was like wow This motherfucker knows what the fuck he's doing <laughs> That's incredible <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit And that's how Amelia's was born Yeah Or what it is today Yeah <laughs> Damn